Okay, my name is Waswa Emma. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for always coming up with us. Uh, today, I want to tell you about my country, Uganda. Yes. Uganda is one of the best countries in the world. That's why we call it the Pearl of Africa. So I'm going to tell you some of the facts that differentiate Uganda from any other country. First and foremost, we are located in East Africa. Uganda is a landlocked country. According to the population census, we are 48 million currently. We are overpopulated, one of the most populated countries in Africa. So Uganda is a landlocked country with Kenya in the east, South Sudan in the north, we have DRC in the west, and in the south we have Tanzania and Rwanda. Uganda is occupied with the biggest freshwater body in Africa, that is Lake Victoria. Uganda is occupied with we are the big, one of the top 10 farmers of Robusta coffee in the whole world. If you're looking for producers and manufacturers, the producers and processors of coffee, Uganda, we are among the top 10. Uganda is considered to be the country with the best favorable weather climate. In Uganda, it rains throughout and it shines throughout. We only have two seasons. Live around those countries where you, you guys face four seasons of climates but here in Uganda we have two seasons that's the rainy season and the dry season our temperature in Uganda has never gone beyond 35 degrees and it has never declined beyond 18 degrees which means that our temperature is just enough for any living person in this world 11 percent of the world is bird species i mean the types just imagine 11 percent of all the types in the in of all birds types in this world are located in uganda it's believed that we have 82 percent of the mammals in this world types of mammals 82 percent are located in uganda uganda has over 54 indigenous tribes can you imagine a small country like us having 54 tribes and culture in this country. And it's believed that the most friendly people in this world are Ugandans. Uganda has the, the source of the longest river in this world, and that is River Nile, which runs from Jinja up to at the Mediterranean Sea with over 6,000 kilometers. The longest river in this world starts from Uganda. We have one of the longest fault mountains that is Wenzori Mountain with over 5,000 meters above the sea level. Those are five kilometers. 5,000 meters equal to five kilometers. So full kept with the icebergs. So make sure you come to Uganda, come and visit and understand Uganda. We have over 10 game parks from Kidepo, Queen Elizabeth, Markshan Falls, Semiliki, man, those are all located in Uganda. In Uganda, Uganda is the only country in Africa, or even in the world, reserving the backcloth. Backcloth has been a, a norm and a custom cloth for Ugandans for very many years. Up to now, it's recognized by UNESCO. Uh, if you recognize UNESCO, you just understand what it means. Uh, in Uganda, we have the youngest population generation in, in the whole world. 76% of Ugandans are below 29 years. That is how we are in Uganda, which means that we have the youngest population in the whole world. That makes Uganda one of the most different countries in the whole world. So, uh, at the same time, the biggest concentration of chimpanzees and gorilla, the biggest concentration and chimp of chimpanzees and gorilla is in Uganda. So, for gorilla trekkers, you know what I mean. 
with that if you decide to visit uganda you're gonna have your vacation you're gonna enjoy this country to the maximum all the best large water bodies are located in uganda we are the second in the world on issues of banana planting i think the first is brazil then uganda comes in second as uh, the, the, the second biggest growers of banana in the whole world so that is uganda for you uh, make sure you come visit the, the beautiful people we're having the beautiful ladies uh the very hospitable people in uganda the mountains in uganda the rivers everything concerning beauty and tourism just come and feast uganda we have the equator one of the few countries where the equator passes is uganda which means that if you're in uganda you can enjoy both the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere that is it uganda for you thank you